Here's what you did, Taylor. Yep. Right now, this very moment, taking my fender off. Why are we taking my fender off, Josh? Um, we're gonna rust it. We're gonna rust it. It's gonna be mint. So, the plans have changed. Um, changed drastically. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost impossible to get this off, so. We're just gonna do it while it's on the car and hope yep. I don't eat up my door or my hood or my bumper, which is plastic. Oh, we'll be fine. Yeah, hopefully. All right, there you go. We are now sanding the clear coat off because the clear coat will keep the reactions from occurring so we can get ultimate rust action on the car. All right, go for it. We sanded the uh, the clear coat off. Yeah, we sanded all the clear coat or most. Of it. Yeah, if we're, we're gonna say we sanded about eighty percent of the clear coat off. Yeah, so this might look weird, but it's gonna look streaky. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So now we gotta prep the surface, clean it all down to bare metal by just taking some cleaner and cleaning it off. Just getting all of the paint and the clear coat remnants off. There's three main components behind the chemistry of rust. Um, there's water, iron, and oxygen. All right, so these are the main ingredients. We have salt, hydrogen peroxide, and distilled vinegar. Um, the first step is to spray the vinegar onto the metal. And then after that, we let it sit for a little while, and then we mix. It doesn't really matter, the mixture, right? No. No, so we'll do hydrogen peroxide and salt. Um, not equal amounts, because the salt's thick, but I don't know. We're gonna probably do. Yeah, we only need a little bit of salt in the mixture with hydrogen peroxide to get the reaction that we want. Yeah, so we'll do a little bit of salt, mainly hydrogen peroxide, so it's sprayable and it should react fairly quick. All right, so how it rust forms is from um, like iron and it's getting oxidized by like a droplet of water on the steel, and when the water hits it, if the water becomes more acidic, the pH levels will increase, which will oxidize the steel faster. In our situation, we're basically using vinegar and hydrogen peroxide with salt to make that process 10 times faster. Accelerate it. Yeah, we're accelerating the process, so it's happening instantaneously, whereas water and steel oxidizing takes a longer period. It smells great. How much do you need? Not that much. Alright, let's just emptied it. Now we're gonna put salt and hydrogen peroxide in the same bottle after it was emptied. How much do you think? Yeah, that's good. A little bit of salt. Yeah, shake that up. Mix it so it dissolves. So now we're gonna spray the hydrogen peroxide on. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Yep, that's rusting, all right. That's cool. So I know a lot of you are gonna ask, Jake, why would you do this to your car? Cause I, I don't I don't care <laughs> at all. <laughs> now we're gonna let it dry. dry. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna let it dry. It's really right. wet right now. 
So once it dries, we'll be back so you can see the final product. Nice. Max is a thousand degrees. <laughs> <laughs> So we use the heat gun to speed up the rusting process. Um, the longer it sits, the more it will rust, so I'm probably just gonna...